Can you answer the question? Why do some ocean earthquakes cause tsunamis while others don't? So, hello everyone. I welcome you all to UIAS. Today we will discuss about an important geographical phenomena known as earthquake. An earthquake is the shaking of the surface of the Earth resulting from a sudden release of energy in the Earth's lithosphere that creates seismic waves. It is said that if earthquake occurs undersea it may cause tsunami. But is it really true? Let's discuss. On January 9th, just such an event happened in the seas north of the Indonesian archipelago, in Maluku where a strong, magnitude 7.6 on the Richter scale, earthquake shook the region and was felt as far afield as Darwin in Australia. The Maluku Islands or the Moluccas are an archipelago in the east of Indonesia. Tectonically they are located on the Halmahura Plate within the Molucca Sea Collision Zone. Geographically they are located east of Sulawesi, west of New Guinea, and north and east of Timor. So why is it some earthquakes generate deadly tsunamis and others don't? Earth's tectonic plates move across the planet's surface at an average speed of around 10 centimeters per year. This speed was originally estimated based on changes in the magnetic seafloor properties, but has now been measured by satellites in space. This movement is not a smooth process, since Earth's crust is hard and experiences strong friction when the tectonic plates come into contact with one another. As they move, this friction builds up stress in the rock, which is released every once in a while in the form of earthquakes. In some places, earthquakes occur only occasionally but are very strong, while in others they happen more frequently and are weaker. Before we move to the next point we should know about subduction zones so, a subduction zone is a collision between two of Earth's tectonic plates, where one plate sinks into the mantle underneath the other plate. But earthquakes also vary greatly in terms of how deep they are generated below the surface. This is because subduction zones continue for a long way down into the mantle. The rocks remain cold and stiff for hundreds of kilometers down before they get hot enough from the internal heat of the planet to become soft. And this is the main reason some earthquakes generate tsunamis and others do not. Shallow subduction zone earthquakes actually displace the seafloor either up or down and also the ocean above it. So as per the latest research if the subduction is low then there is higher possibility that it may cause tsunami. In case of deeper subduction zone possibility of tsunami is low, 